Do you consider yourself a creative person, but maybe you feel second rate or like an imposter or even a poser? Well, so do I. And today I want to share with you a little bit about my journey as a creative person. I grew up doing creative things, being musical and doing stuff like that. No matter if it was songwriting or guitar playing or teaching, I always felt like I wasn't good enough. And not only did I not feel good enough, I actually felt unqualified to do any of it. And so I realize now that having gone through learning to do music and perform music and teach music, and even now into photography and videography world, as I've changed lanes, I've ended up in the same mental space. I don't feel good enough. No matter where you are in the creative process, I think everybody struggles with the same feelings. As I've gotten into things, whether it's a guitar player, uh, I've decided to go, oh, who's great at guitar playing? Hey, really good guitar player, how do I be like you? And they'll always say, well, and I kind of just got here from doing this, maybe this, like, there's not usually a straight answer. And that's because they're just on the journey. Same thing with video and photo, or dancing, or painting, or sketching, or whatever. People get better because they try and they work hard. The feeling, that mental feeling, that imposter syndrome, the poser syndrome, the thing that happens in our heads is never going to go away. So one thing that I've done for myself to sort of overcome this idea of being a poser, I've come up with a term, practical creative. What is a practical creative, you might ask? Well, thank you for asking. Let me tell you. The term practical creative reminds me that I don't have to be the stereotypical, crazy hair, free thinking, no schedule kind of person to be creative. But rather, I can actually find creativity in rhythm and in structure and in finding things that work for me. These things have helped me to grow as a creative person. And so honestly, I know that you're sitting on the other side of the screen thinking, I know I feel that way. Thanks for reminding me. I'm not reminding you because I want you to feel that way anymore. I'm reminding you because I know something that will help you to grow beyond it. When is the last time that you had an idea that you were like, yes, this is a great idea. I'm going to do that. I'm inspired. And I want you to think about, was that the morning or was it the evening? Was it inside? Was it outside? Were you alone or were you with people? Think about that situation. And what was it for you that kind of allowed you to get into the creative space that helped you get to a good idea? There's two things that work together really, really well. One is that the world we live in is set for people who can function in a schedule. Our corporations and our nonprofits and our small business owners, they want creative people on their teams. You are that person. You just have to figure out how to engage that in yourself. And all of these social media platforms, their algorithm has it built in to reward you for being a scheduled creative person. So if you can take the creative kickstart that you have and scheduled approach to being creative and you can sort of work yourself into that cycle and that rhythm and that routine you're going to get better because the thing that gets us stuck is we think man i'm an imposter i'm a poser i'm a loser i'm not good at this and we can't kickstart ourselves to do the task again in the routine obviously some weeks you're not going to enjoy it but if you know how to kickstart your creativity then you're going to be even better off as a creative person if this video was helpful for you at all or you enjoyed it then you know what to do and if for some reason you hated this video and you're still here then go ahead and hit the dislike button because you probably should the other thing is if you are a creative person and you figured out what is your ideal creative space would you please drop that in the comment section i actually am very interested to hear from you and lastly, I post a new video every single Monday. And so if you're interested in following along in my creative journey and encouraging me to grow as a creative person, hit that subscribe button and I will see you next Monday.